channel. My name is TK Llangwane. My full name actually is Sakani Llangwane, but I'm better known as TK Llangwane. And um, this is a beauty and wellness channel with a little bit of lifestyle. I've also incorporated a lot of fashion into it and everything because I'm someone who enjoys styling clothes. So this week, the vlog is really all about what I'm wearing for the week. I've done that once last year and I thought, let me bring it up on a regular basis where I show you what I'm wearing for the day. Why I think I enjoy doing this because my kind of uh, dress code is very themed if I can put it that way. I like theme looks, you know, I must look like I'm going to a specific something. I don't put in just clothes together. I hardly wear streetwear, that's like once in a while. Me, it's very much put together kind of look is what I like to go for, or a, a kind of theme, if I can put it that way. So today, as you can see, it is, um, no, not as you can see, today is Sunday. I'm just fresh from church. I was supposed to do this before going to church, but I was running late. So under normal circumstances, I would show you my face okay so that is how my makeup is looking today i'm wearing a red lip and i forgot my red lipstick at home so i couldn't touch up after church but i think it's still in good condition um and then what would i also show you i would show you the fragrance of the day so i had to actually bring it out it's one of these fine fragrances but it's actually scandal jean paul gautier I love it. It smells divine. I could smell myself while I church. I have a few of these fine fragrances. Um, I keep them like everywhere. So this one is in my in my bag. Then I have this one in my car. But this one is Amani C. At home, I've got Hypnotic Poison by uh, Christian Dior, and I've got um, which is the other one? There's a fourth one. Oh, uh, uh, um, Carolina Herrera, uh, Good Girl. So yeah. Anyway, that's the fragrance I've got on for today. And then, yeah, I'm gonna show you everything else just now. I'm actually shooting all by myself. I brought my tripod over here. So I'm gonna do shoot a few reels. Uh, yeah, I like the street, it's quiet. If you follow me on Instagram, you see my street reels and it's usually on the street. I usually have my nephew or niece to take photos of me, but you know, today I figured, let me do it by myself it's no big deal you know what i'm saying and i feel like this street works because it's next to a public very busy road but also the street is quiet so there isn't much movement that happens i'm gonna try today if it works i'm gonna keep doing it okay or find different spots and everything like that all right so yeah and then just before we go in i want to show you so i'm wearing this scarf it is my late granny scarf you'll see it once i take a great photo the condition is not great so you can see it was worn quite a bit but when she passed away two years ago you know when families will you know give clothes while well, everyone comes and takes what they want obviously and so i took two scarves well this one and there's another one that's a long cloth that i use in summer as like a, a boob tube dress when i'm at home because it's very nice and light i don't have to wear a lot of clothes and stuff like that so yeah that's how i styled it my theme today i would say it's very country uh in terms of you know if you watch these movies where they live like in a farm and uh, this person has maybe um what do you call it uh what do you call it rather uh, like horses and stuff like that you know but she's rich so she does have that bougie effect of it she's going around you know going to ride a horse or maybe you know check on her the the, the, the cattle or whatever when you see the look together if you watch enough of those kind of movies you know exactly what i'm talking about so let's get into it what I'm wearing so this hat is from College Spring I hope you can hear me because I'm outside competing with alarms and everything these shades are from Cotton On from very years, many years ago this scarf like I said already is from my late um, grandmother this jacket is from H&M the pollen net here is uh, from Mango my sister gifted me and then these jeans are from Oh, 
Alright, welcome to Tuesday. Yeah, today is Tuesday the I need to remember the date now. It is the 6th of June, yes. Today is a very important day, very special day, very big day to me. I won't give you details, but I need to look right because I'm doing something today and that might change things up a little bit. So uh, let me take you through my whole dress. Right. So the dress I'm wearing today, I've had it for about two or three years. It is from Poetry. I love this dress. It looks so good on me. Just gonna give you a little bit of a twirl there. Beautiful. It comes with a different kind of belt. The belt is like a fabric belt and it's blue, yellow, and yeah, brown and white, random. So now and then I just add this because most of the shoes that I would wear are in this color. Just wanna tuck this in. Okay, the shoes I'm wearing are these. I'm gonna have to take a better picture for you guys to see. Okay. That's the shoes, really, really beautiful. They, these shoes I've got from some Chinese shop called Always New. Love that shop. Very comfortable, I love them. It was actually, a buy one, get one free <laughs> from it. Okay, and then, as usual on this channel, we always talk about what fragrance we are wearing. So I've paired these two together. So that is uh, Mei and Tonka. So this is Myrrh and Tonka. And then this one is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Beautiful, beautiful combination. Strategically wearing these fragrances for a very good reason for today's big day, okay? Now let me show you uh, my makeup. It's quite natural. I feel like a red lip would do the trick here. It will just elevate my look a little bit instead of going for nude because I feel like everything is so muted now. So I'm gonna add a red lip when I'm done and then you guys can decide if that works, okay? But yeah, that is my look. Let me show you the jacket I'm wearing. Okay, so the jacket is this beautiful trench coat. That is the name of the brand. Got it from Gizia, South Africa. I'm wearing it for the first time today. Very excited. Oh, okay, I need to check myself quickly in the mirror on this side. Yeah, that is the look I'm going for. Oh my goodness, I love it, love it love it can you see all the detail um i'm not going to let me see sorry i have to turn around Woo. <laughs> look at it like this look at it like this yes sis. Hmm? can you look at that can you look at that and then it has a zip here if i want to open the zip is my hips open up a little bit but i don't think i don't think there'll be a need for that so yeah that is basically how i'm going to look today hi my name is takani Kamwani, better known as tk hey will it work will it work yeah i definitely need a red lip now just so that my look can be elevated let me add the red lip but yeah this is my look for today i really really love it let's go again without Oh, <laughs> no man, stunning. Okay, so I've added a red lip. I think that definitely works. What do you think? Makes a difference. So it is Feel So Grand by MAC. Last one. I'm hoping that at the office, there'll be someone to take a picture of me so I can put up beautiful pictures of this look. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna take a few pictures here in the house and see how that looks like. Okay. Okay, I forgot to show you guys. This is the bag I'm carrying today. I think it will go with this. Okay. And I think I need to comb my hair a little bit out so it can be a bit more wild. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is a Wednesday the 7th of June. This is the outfit of the day. I'm gonna take you through it quite detailed today, okay? So this is the same polo neck I was wearing on Sunday. It is from Mango. And I'm wearing a vest <laughs> underneath. 
Okay, these jeans that are meant to be mommy jeans, you know, oversized jeans are from H&M. So the point was it's meant to be oversized, it's a size 10, but girl has hips, bums, thighs and all that jazz. The fit at the back looks amazing, right? So that is that, okay? That's how I look at the back. Okay, but in the front, obviously, it got this here. So I need to lose quite a bit of weight for it to be fine. This is what I say to people all the time about us girls with hips, bums, and thighs, where society has said we've got a beautiful body and we look good in clothes. However, it is a mission to shop. I cannot do your she-in hauls and all of that kind of stuff where it's online shopping, superbness, you name it. I can't do that. It is a risk that I'm not willing to take because even sometimes when I buy things in store and I think it's going to fit, I get home and it doesn't. And you know, fitting clothes in the shops can be such a mission. So when I saw this, I thought it was going to be fine. I've had this for a couple of months now and I think this is my third time wearing these jeans because they're now in fashion, you know, and um, yeah, that is basically how they look. So I can never wear them alone like this. I have to always put something on top so that um, it covers this bulge. This is all fabric that is very unnecessary. So if it, it fitted well, it would be looking more like that. So with most of my clothes, I need to go and get it tailored, made the waist a little bit smaller. This one, I think the waist is fine, but I know when I lose more weight, it's definitely going to be too big. And uh, yeah, but I'm gonna cover it right now, but that is my life. It's an expensive body to have because you need to fix everything and you can't just buy things as they are, unfortunately, especially it has to do with the bottom. Sometimes even dresses like, um, depending on the fit. So sometimes you might find that I need, if it's a straight dress, it's going to be big right here and fit, and fit in nicely here. Touch and go, very, very tricky. All right, I'm gonna add a jacket. Oh no, before we add, yeah. This is the fragrance I'm wearing today. You've seen it before. It's one of my favorite winter fragrances from Michael Kors. Oh, it smells divine, divine. Uh, Mystic Shimmer, Michael Kors. It's definitely a winter or a dinner fragrance and it's actually perfect because today I've got a dinner tonight but I'll touch up with something smaller in my bag later and uh, yeah let me just spritz a little bit here on the hair as well because honey and people pass me they must just smell heaven <laughs> they must just smell heaven right next we are going to put on the jacket kit oh I love this jacket I wear it like twice a year or something like that it is from poetry it's a pocket jacket. You know, when I first bought it four years ago, I thought I would get like in every color because they are so stunning. I can really dress them down and make them look very cool. I can dress it up, you know, make it look bougie and everything. And actually, let me show you something. So it has this zip at the back where you actually have the hoodie, which is pretty cool. I never use it though. Uh, but yeah, it's basically that so I need to just wrap it up <laughs> back inside go back go sleep honey um, Okay It's pretty cool. I love it. I wanted to get a black one, but they're not in my normal price range of you know just buying so i always need to wait when i've got enough money to spend over a thousand rand on a jacket okay so this is how i'm gonna wear it like this okay i need to quickly look at the mirror the side just to see oh <laughs> My goodness, my goodness, how cute am I? How hot am I? See, again, this bulge is gonna disturb me because it would have looked just fine like this, but now I'm gonna have to cover it up. Just, yeah, I'm just gonna have to cover it up. So that this bulge is not too much. But this is basically how it looks like. Okay, and then these are the shoes that I'm wearing. Let's see if we can show them off nicely like that. So it's sock boots. They're also from H&M. 
love them very very comfortable okay next i want to add a brooch just want to show you so i tell people all the time that i'm a brooch girl i've got brooches for decades so just looking this side is about seven chanel brooches okay I'll take you guys through them this is my favorite one nice for casual wear this one was part of a t-shirt so this part broke if i find something that can help it stick you know then i'm gonna definitely gonna get like a pin behind it another one yeah this one is also broken i need to make a plan for it is that one and lastly this is also a cool one that one okay then i've got these bling ones this one also broke i love it it would have been perfect for this right it would have been just so perfect but i need to get it fixed and i've got the blue one which is stunning as well i love it royal blue looks good on me royal blue looks good on me <laughs> okay then another fave multicolored how beautiful is the swan but this from my sister so stunning and we've got the red one over here this cute pink one okay and then i've got all these different badges with cute messages on it and everything this is more for casual wear and just smack badge over there as well this was from a friend of mine it's uh, my favorite treat pineapple okay so today so usually because if, if two years or three years ago i got the stain this oil stain breaks my heart all the time i don't know what i was doing in the kitchen wearing this jacket so i always try to cover it up so nobody goes oh what's that you know so i'm thinking i'm either gonna wear the scorpion this is a scorpion because also a gift or oh, i'll wear this bunny between the two of those right what could have looked good as well maybe this but i think with my outfit it just maybe it doesn't look right i don't know i think the scorpion will have to do the trick okay just to distract you know If you do know of how I can get rid of the stain, please do tell me. Does it make a difference? I don't know. Sorry, I need to look at the mirror this side. Okay, I'm just going to leave it on. But that is basically how I'm looking. And then let me show you the bag I'm wearing using today. So that's the bag I'm taking to work. It's a leather bag. I bought it from the space a couple of years ago for my birthday. It's a local leather brand. And then later for dinner, I'm going to fire room tonight. So hence my my dress is cold is also dress code is also like semi-casual and still looks cute. I'll change into this bag that I got from the fix. And yeah, that is my look for the day. I was not successful in taking pictures yesterday because we're so busy. I don't know if I will be able to take pictures today, but I'll do my best. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take a few now before I leave in the house. Alrighty. I hope you're enjoying these. I can't wait for the rest of the week to see what I'm going to wear. Hey, happy Thursday. Welcome back. So uh, yesterday, I didn't take a photo like I <laughs> like you've seen already at the office. Um, yeah, there was no time. It was quite hectic. And then uh, in the evening, I went for dinner. I was meant to go to fire room, but it was fully reserved when we tried to make a booking. So I ended up going to, to Pijal, Pigal. I don't know how you say it. Yeah, love that restaurant. Um, yeah, so it was really beautiful. And I just wore the same outfit. I did come back home, um, but yeah, wore the same outfit. So it was really lovely. I need to tell you a story. So the funny thing is um, I was wearing a brooch, right? And I ended up uh, wearing two brooches. So I showed you guys the, I think 
on camera I had the um, scorpion one then I added the uh, bunny okay so I was at the office no problem then I get home so around five then there's an email that comes from the office saying someone lost our brooch at that time I removed my jacket just so that I can be comfortable and I was gonna wear it again later what happens I'm like okay let me check my jacket then I realize I only have one uh, brooch <laughs> on me <laughs> then I sent uh, an email responding to reception to say hey this is the story and I described it like yeah that's the one they told me who has it but what's funny is that after I responded right then I started getting whatsapps and even this morning from people saying did you see the message about a brooch is it you who lost the brooch and this morning again someone also said that what's going on here why is it stuck okay and then, and then yeah that's what they said and everything like that and i just laughed i was like okay so clearly everybody knows i'm the brooch girl so one of my colleagues says no you are the glamour doll so we know if anything that is glamorous that gets lost it must be yours and that was cute i really like that Anyway, today this Thursday, I was meant to do interviews today, but the retailer just told me that they haven't finished allocating slots and everything like that. And this particular retailer does the things themselves with other retailers I'm in charge. Where with this one, they need to do their own background story and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go into today's outfit. So I really love my makeup. My face looks so beautiful. So all I have, let me show you. All I have is uh, these two on my lips. So it's a lip liner from MAC Vino. It's a dark color like that. Okay. And then this lip gloss as well. It was a limited edition, but any color like this will do the trick. I think it's a beautiful winter color. Mm. Stunning. Okay. If you're a regular here, you've seen this dress before. I love it. I love it so much. It's got that whole Victorian look. Look at the color, the button, the detail. And you should actually see it in person that the, the, the workmanship, is that what they call it? Like the craftsmanship. Yeah, like well tailored, really, really, really. Everything is just beautiful about it. And obviously, yes. <laughs> love it and um what else about this dress that's it yeah um it's from turkey um i get it from giza south africa and uh, they just know what works for my body and i love it for that i have to decide on so i'm not gonna wear earrings as you've noticed i had you wear earrings especially when my hair is big like this just don't want a lot of drama i'm wearing a vest underneath so i won't be wearing a jacket i don't think i'll need one so i'll go without and then i wanted to show you something because i need to add a belt okay so this uh, this dress is meant to be worn with a belt over here so i wanted to show you something so this is how i keep my belt so this is a cosmetic bag like this got it years ago from my sister when we were traveling overseas she got it for us and she had her own color as well so i've kept it every time i'm like what am i going to do with this so recently i decided no man let me put this all my belts in here and put this in my wardrobe so it hangs like this in the wardrobe then whenever i need a belt then i don't have to scratch i had a nice box and everything but i find that this is even easier to see and everything so the belt that goes with this dress is this one here it's this one so much going on here no it's not this one yeah it's this one okay and i keep them in an elastic like that just for neatness i am a very organized hand i am there's a compartment for everything that's just how i am i'm always missing loops with this dress so let's hope this time we get it right all over this together guys okay see this one is always a hard one okay we've got one another one here oh wow cool stuff and then we make sure we stay snatched 
Okay, as usual, let me check myself out in the mirror <laughs> this way. Do you ever look at yourself and you're just like, <laughs> you're a wonderful girl. And that is just how I feel every time I dress up. I just, I just love looking at myself like that. I'm gonna give you a tour for the last time. Okay, so now let's choose shoes. We've got two options for the second. So it's between these two girdies. I know which one you're probably going for. You're probably thinking this. I'm already wearing heels with this dress and I felt like this. These basic shoes that I had to wear, I think last year I didn't wear them at all. I was actually tempted. Um, last week I was going through my stuff, things that I want to give away to church or uh, Salvation Army. And I was like, maybe I should give these shoes away because I had to wear them and they're not cute, but they're different, you know? So I'm thinking, let me wear them today because I want to be comfortable. These look comfortable, but by the toes here, I think maybe they are just too narrow. They can be a little bit uncomfortable. So let me see what works. All right, so that is my entire look. I really love what I see. It's comfortable, but elegant. The shoes are from Woolworths, about five or six years old. Uh, before I forget, we also have fragrance of the day. It's coming a little bit closer, you guys can see it. It is Your Malone London Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. Very fresh, citrus smell, but not overpowering. I love it so much. It's almost finished, as you can see. Um, yeah, for this weather, it's definitely going to last. I, I don't want anything heavy. And generally, I'm not a heavy fragrance person. You might see me over spring, but I want every part of me to smell like the fragrance. You know what I'm saying? Like, just beautiful. When people are around me, they must just smell this warmth, this beauty. Okay, that's that for um, what I wore this week. Well, for today, tomorrow is the last day. It is Friday. I will shoot something. It's going to be a very simple look, which is going to be different from everything that I've worn this week. So I'm looking forward to creating that together with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you are enjoying about this video and if there's anything else you'd like me to add in future when I put together what I wore for the week. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> that is so lame. Anyone's trying to be cute, did it work? I'm excited that it's Friday. It's an amazing day today, and I'm gonna tell you about it just now. Let's just recap on yesterday so you remember how I looked yesterday and the fragrance that I put on yesterday. Wonderful. So um, I was working in Cresta yesterday. Guess what? I was going down the stairs. I hear this gentleman go, ma'am, your fragrance, your perfume smells amazing. It smells divine. <laughs> was, I like, was I like, hmm, what? <laughs> love it so much i feel like it's the, one of the best 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 compliments and what was nice about it you just compliment and keep it moving you don't ask for numbers you don't say any, any, anything else you just appreciate the fragrance and why i appreciate it a lot because you know um jo Malone, they don't have beast fragrances so they're not very strong or anything like that so when somebody smells it and thinks you smell amazing you must know it's really working with the chemistry and you know I just, yeah, it made my day, made my day. Anyway, today's Friday. I am going to four ways today. I wanna tell you why I'm dressed the way I am. So uh, for those who may not be familiar with the brand MAC Cosmetics, the, the makeup brand, we have a, um, what do you call it? A foundation called Viva Glam. It's been there since 1995. So initially it was Viva Glam MAC AIDS Fund. So it was there to, um, what is the word? Uh, this specific lipsticks, specific not all, that go to this fund, that 100% of whatever we make from it goes to this fund and women, children and men living with HIV and AIDS or who are affected by it, they would get that money, you know. So since 1994 till now, or 95, can't remember when we started it, we've raised over $500 million. That is a lot of money, $500 million all around the world, you know? So today to celebrate Pride Month, which is obviously in June, but this day specifically, we are selling all our lipsticks, not just Viva Glam lipsticks, all lipsticks from MAC 
100% will go to that fund. So I'm looking forward to more like a charity and giving away kind of day today. So it's going to be great. So if you're a Mac lover, um, hopefully today you did go and get your lipstick uh, or buy your lipstick rather because we're not giving it away, but you are giving us the money so that we can help those families and, you know, who are living with, with HIV. But it has changed over the years. That's why they've removed the, the Mac AIDS fund from it. It's just Viva Glam fund because even during COVID, we were helping people during the uh, the flooding in KZN, we were helping people. So it's become more than just an age fund, but for everybody who has daily struggles and everything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what my t-shirt is written at the back so that you know what your lipstick will do to us. Okay, so yeah, so I figured let me wear something casual. Well, the teams in store are wearing black and those who have Viva Glam t-shirts will wear them. And then we are meant to wear so part of the theme is to wear uh, bright sneakers and these are the brightest sneakers that I have. I love them so much. Oh, these sneakers are just hot. They're hot like the owner, right? <laughs> and then uh, this is my makeup. I hope I'm close enough for you guys to see my makeup. This lipstick is also from MAC, all fired up. Love it. I might ask the team to do something cute with the pride colors over there as well. So I'm going to put this on quickly. But also I want to tell you something that I've just discovered. I feel so slow and uh, i'm gonna look at myself here so i've had an apple watch for over five years maybe four or five years yeah i think 2018 2019 no, 2019 i think yeah so um no, i lied 2018 doesn't matter so i only discovered yesterday while going through instagram so you know when you go through instagram somebody will post you know tips on how to you know get better quality videos and pictures and stuff like that so i'm going through the comments that everyone has said after this post and somebody asks what can I do uh, to make sure that when I'm taking a video, I am still within the frame? Because if like myself now, I'm using the back camera of my iPhone, right? So I can't see myself, right? So how do you time yourself? How do you stay in the frame? So someone answers said, no, if you've got an Apple Watch, you can time yourself in videos and you can see if you're within the frame. I was like, what? All these years where if I do a self timer, I'll run, you know, so that I'm on time to pose, da, da 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 go back and check the picture and all of that, no more. So actually today, what I did, I, so I'm looking at myself right now, right? I don't know if I would be able to show you guys. No, it's going to be tricky. Let me leave it. Anyway, so I can see myself on my phone. I can see where I'm standing. Okay, I need to move there more towards the middle like that. You guys can see my slippers, right? And everything. It's so exciting. So when I stop, I stop. No issues. I don't have to keep running there. I can see I'm within the frame or whatever. It's just all too exciting. And for that purpose, I think I'm going to put on my shoes while on camera. Right? Let's see. Yeah, it's still showing. Maybe I should go more to the back. Ugh. Exciting. Sounds so exciting. <laughs> so tired now let me show you the fragrance of the day so i'm wearing this fragrance from tom ford i don't have a lot of tom ford fragrances because generally they're very strong and my sinuses get excited and i'm not happy with that but this one has grown on me it's not strong it's more a lot of people describe it as a fragrance you'd wear on holidays thinking grease you know somewhere where there's water because it's a very fresh fragrance um beautiful uh very clean really it's a very 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 clean fragrance so it's not warm or anything like that but coconut as well i don't know what other scents in it i'm wearing it for the first time for work i usually wear it like for gym or like a light kind of thing so i'm looking forward to see or to hear if i'll get any uh what is the word compliments from it it is called oh, um soleil blanc from tom ford it's one of their private collection Really beautiful not for everyone it's very clean kind of fragrance and i don't know i know not everyone is into that kind of smell the bucket hat is from mr prize 
these earrings which i love so much i've had them for many years i think this is a parrot or what bird is it with these multi colors got these from la visa i love um earrings that are a bit unique you know and obviously have you guys seen my nails this was not intentional right i, I wanted this but then while tolo was painting my nails i remember freaking out realizing that i'm actually painting in pride colors which is perfect for this month and then the t-shirt is from mac and then i'm wearing this uh polo neck that is like sheer but inside it is like a velvet thing really really stunning and then these jeans are from Teddy Whale and the sneakers are from uh, who's this place? Mac. Okay, and then for my bag, let me show you what I'm going to wear. I'm going to make it keep it very simple because I want to be able to move around. I want me to put my bag down. Let's just get the bag quickly. Oh, I can actually stop it here. Alrighty, so this is the bag I'm going to carry today. We actually got it as a gift about almost two years ago from work. Every time I wear it, people think it's some kind of Gucci or something like that. It's not. I understand why people would think so. But basically, it's like a dragonfly and a bee as well. Yeah, but it um, was to celebrate one of the Chinese New Year's with the Estee Lauder brand. As you can see, it's written Estee Lauder. <laughs> so they were giving out because we've got a, a huge community of um, customers who are Asian. So they, you know, put this to celebrate the New Year and everything. So yeah, that's going to be me today. Just chilled like that, easy to work. I don't have to put um, anything down. I can have my phone and everything like that. So that's it. All right, we have come to the end. Which way are we moving for space? <laughs> I'm too excited about this. We've come to the end of what I wore this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have definitely enjoyed creating uh, the content and you know putting my looks together, which is something I do anyway. But to be able to share it with you and show you how I store some of my uh, what do you call it? Some of my accessories and everything like that. So to, please do let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to add when I do these um, what I wore today kind of thing or outfits of the day. All right. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet and you do like this kind of comment, I mean kind of content, I hope you will do just that. Like and leave a comment below so that I know uh, what you enjoyed and if you have watched till the end, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next vlog or my next sit down. Bye.